Many of us like to use bougies when we're intubating patients, but please be aware there are many different types that can look similar and they are not all the same in terms of performance. The Frover bougie or Frover intubating catheter made by Cook is one that many of us are familiar with and would have trained with, but you can look around some hospitals and find alternatives that are also blue and look similar, like the ProBreathe, the FlexiCare, and you look at these things and the difference in quality is obvious when you take them out from where they're stored. Here's a ProBreathe showing how floppy it is. Now one of the things you might want to do with a bougie is put a bend in it to adapt it to your particular patient's needs. And here's a comparison of putting a bend in three different types of bougie. We've got the ProBreathe at the top, then the FlexiCare, and then the standard Frova one at the bottom. And you can see that the top two have lost the shape immediately. And it's, of those three, only the Frova maintains its shape. Now, another thing you might want to do with your bougie is manipulate it. This is very important that you develop your micro skills of bougie manipulation. Here's an example of ED registrars practicing. Okay, give me a little finger and then ring and then middle and then middle finger. Good. 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 And we found that with some of these bougies, these micro skills don't work. So he's kind of simulating an anterior view and the Frover goes straight in. The Coudet tip is helpful, but the stiffness of the catheter and your ability to manipulate it are equally important. Now here's the ProBreathe and it's virtually impossible to direct it anteriorly, even with the Coudet tip. And even when you try and use the tip like bouncing it off the top teeth or your fingers to apply the micro skills. And it's evident why. Look at the bend in the bougie. It's not maintaining its straight line. And in fact, that bend is the opposite direction to the coude tip. So it's just flopping down into the posterior part of the airway. And is it will not allow you to manipulate it anteriorly. So that's the pro-breathe. Um, other problems with the FlexiCare, as I showed, not maintaining its shape when you try and mold it. So personally, I would recommend the Frover based on my own experience. But the key point of this video, the learning point, whether you've got Frovers or not, is to make sure you know what bougies you have in your particular area and what you're able to do with them in terms of manipulation and also shaping, because they are not all made equal. Thanks for listening.